What especially attracted me was the people that we had here, Joe Mayer, Jim Arnold, Harold Urey, Martin Kamen, Stanley Miller, uh, major figures uh, in, in science. And they had often, many of them had left um, uh, established positions elsewhere and were willing to come to, to San Diego to create a new university. And I thought that was remarkable for people who were well established to be so adventurous. And I could have a part in that. Uh, even as a beginner, as, as an assistant professor, I, I would have a role in helping to create the university. Yeah, the way organic chemistry is taught nowadays is a lot different from the way I learned it. When I learned it, it was just an enormous mass of information to memorize. Uh, and uh, at that time, the medical schools were very eager to get students who could succeed at memorizing the stuff of organic chemistry. But teaching of organic chemistry, the, the field of organic chemistry has changed a lot. It's been much more codified. It's much more logical. Uh, and so I try to present the principles to the students. Uh, but the medical schools also recognize that medicine has changed. It's now a question of, uh, of a lot of principles that the students need to learn. And they find that students who can do well in organic chemistry courses will often do well in, in, in medical studies. At the beginning, in the very first lecture, I tell them that uh, I know that in this age of television, attention spans are limited to 15 minutes and so that means it's time for a commercial and I'm going to give you a commercial about organic chemistry. What will organic chemistry do for you? And I realize that most of you in this class are not going to become uh, organic chemists but organic chemistry is a way of training your mind. A lot of organic chemistry is learning to, t to reason by analogy and so you're going to see how you can solve new problems on the basis of analogies to existing problems that you have seen. And nobody is such a genius to be able to solve a completely new problem. And you're never going to have to really do that. You just have to, whatever job you do, you're going to have to recognize a similarity of your problem to the problem that's been solved before. And so you can use that. Uh, another aspect that I'm going to help you with is critical thinking. You're going to come up with all sorts of answers. Your mind works very quickly. And you can come up with all sorts of answers to questions that might be posed. But you have to then ask yourself, is this really the correct answer? And that kind of critical thinking is going to be useful in whatever you do, even if you're not doing organic chemistry. And then organic chemistry also uh, is a lot about learning how to utilize information how to find information, address the quality of that information, the reliability of that information, and then reason from that information to, to answer the question that you've set out to answer. 